the battle of the century is here. Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash number 5. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Freddy has become a god. He got his hands on the Necronomicon Ex Mortis and brought all his dream world powers to the real world. Ash is missing in action. Jason is being dragged to hell by his past victims. He reaches for his machete, but a disembodied hand grabs it before he can and thrusts it straight through Jason's chest. Freddy's bored, and now it's time to get back to the- Wait! Where to go? The book! No! Williams has it! Ash is up and running for his life. He's got to find a way to reverse whatever Freddy did, and send him and Jason to whatever hell dimension they crawled out of. But Freddy finds him, and brings the woods to life. The trees attack him. The birds attack him. But seriously, What's a bunch of lumber and feathers going to do against a guy with a chainsaw for a hand and a boomstick in the other? He makes his way back to the house, but everyone's dead. Everyone but Carrie. They have to get inside and find a passage in the book that'll end this, because Freddy's caught up to them. But what they stumble upon is both better and worse. Written in the book's pages, Pamela Voorhees used the book to bring Jason back from the dead. It turns out the reason Jason is unkillable and unstoppable, he's a deadite. Some sort of deadite of vengeance. And Freddy, his rebirth was foretold in the book as well. The book brought him back and gave him his dream world powers. There it is. They found the passage. Klaatu, Verata, Nikto. It's time to take out the trash. But as they step outside, everything has changed. They're no longer at the Voorhees house. The numbers on the front pillar read 1428. They're back on Elm Street. And there are three creepy little girls playing jump rope in the front yard. The girls become deadites and attacking, while the jump rope becomes Freddy as a serpent. Ash easily disposes of them, but Freddy is caught up to carry, and Jason's returned. The two go at it again. Freddy uses the house to attack the monster. Its boards hitting him like a sledgehammer. It's time Carrie speaks the words. Klaatu, Verata, Nick. Before Carrie can speak the final word, Jason pulls the book from her. But Ash is ready, and he blasts Jason in the face with his boomstick. Damn, you're one ugly mother. I think the ugly stick got beat with your face. Ash cuts Jason's arm off, and Carrie reclaims the book. But Jason is smartened up. He takes a page from Ash's book and thrusts the machete into his stump. And here we go. Jason versus Ash. But the fight is over faster than it begins as Jason backhands Ash through the window and out onto the front lawn. As Freddy stands ready for his battle with Jason to continue. There we go guys, Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash number 5. We've only got one issue left of this mini-series, so tune in next time for Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash number 6. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Take care.